All right, we are very excited to be joined by our good friend, Ben Shapiro. Again, if you wanna find his work, just turn on any electronic device you have and it's gonna be there. He's one of the uh, greatest thinkers that we have going around anywhere right now. And I don't say that lightly. Uh, and obviously I do work at the company that you help run, but that has nothing to do with that. I've always no, said that. You're, you're, but that's you're unbiased a, that way. Yeah, I am unbiased. Like most I, I am unbiased. And that, therefore now I'm gonna go ahead and transition into this, which is a great segue into what we're talking about. Shout out Leah Thomas. But Finland actually had a glass ceiling breaking moment, Ben. I don't know <laughs> if you saw this. Um, it's all anybody can talk about. It actually almost brought me to tears. Finland decided to uh, have a performance by the first ever transgender figure skater. And no, I'm not talking about Jimmy McElroy or Chaz Michael Michaels from Blades of Glory, even though we love those guys. Uh, but we wanted to play this clip for you so you could enjoy this. And then we wanted you to react to it. I give you Finland's and the world's first transgender figure skater. Open your eyes and be enthralled by this. Mm, here we go. <laughs> Mies. God, that's such great technique. Ja tuota, sieltä on niinku yhdeksän Look at all that, the confused flamingo. <laughs> that's beautiful, that's nice. nice. It is. Oh, wait, wait, there's a turn coming. What? Yeah. Wow. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, good. The flying lotus. Wow. Oh, oh no! She, look at her save it! Look, look at him. She's Kaepernicking. Mm. Look at her. She's Kaepernicking. The Kaepernick special. Good. No, Watch the fight. It's the getting back up this time. Oh, no. Ben. Oh, no. Just, we, wow. Yeah, it definitely cuts the people with the flags. Yes, look, oh, no, look, look, here we go. Both knees. There it is. The Mel Gibson, the Patriot. Oh. <laughs> wow, that is um, that was that was beautiful. Um, I'm never sure. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like the, um, that's what they show you in like the first like year <laughs> you're in hell over and over again. Mm, you think so? I a, think it's Dante's. But, Inferno yeah, Sinners. but but to to get back to a serious note on it, don't you think it was groundbreaking, Ben? And if you had to rate that performance one out of 10 if you were a judge how would you how would you judge that well i mean by law that's at least a 200 at least yeah. right i mean like the scale is broken the scale is no, no longer applies mm -hmm. um it was one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen it was groundbreaking because he broke the ground yeah um it was you know a, a, it's rare that you see a reenactment of a commercial in which a person falls and can't get up. I've fallen and I can't get up. We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. Um, but he, in fact, has fallen and, and yes. cannot get up. It was, it was moving. It was. Uh, I thought. It, I thought it was. I thought it was stellar. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys. And uh, frankly, if you think anything different, then uh, there is a group of men from the government who will beat the living hell out of you. <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, so, and yeah. you're a bigot. <laughs> Correct. Whoa, whoa. That's Correct. that too. Is that but my can like they great, not great moments in Finnish history? It's like the Winter War versus the Soviets. Yes, yep. and, yes. and that that yeah. was like yeah. amazing. I don't amazing know. If, stuff. I don't know if the Winter War versus the Soviets was as graceful as that. But I, I, honestly, though, can we not find a transgender person that can skate though? Like in all actuality, that's the all thing. jokes aside. I'm not even asking you to go out there and be Christy Yamaguchi or Wayne Gretzky. I'm asking you just go out there and be able to skate in a circle, put your hand up, wave. I mean, you, you talk about life alert. I've fallen and I can't get up. It's like a real. Emperor has no clothes on situation there. Because at least with someone like Leah Thomas, you know, he is defeating women that he's racing against. You know, this is why, like, I was thinking about this. The the participation trophy like this is the perfect symbol for, like, this neo-Marxist movement, right? Like, the performance does not matter at all. All that matters is your intersectionality. And this person is on the ice just for how they represent themselves or identify. It seems so antithetical to, like, the American ideal to me. Well, that's because Finland. Yeah, so that, I mean, there's that, but it's sure. It, it, listen, how dare you? So first of all, how dare you? <laughs> I'm embarrassed, and, but I'm sorry. I for mean, this. I, I can't believe I'm even sitting in the same room uh. as, as somebody who would say such a horrific they, thing about they got one to of the you. great heroes got to him. of humanity. That is one of, that, that was, if you don't look at that and see not only a beautiful woman mm. who's amazing at figure skating, but one of the great heroes of Western civilization. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I don't know what eyes you're seeing through. I don't Grow know up, what's maybe. going on yeah. in your brain. Like, really. Please don't fire me. I can change. And, 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 I can change. No, I hope you're proud of yourself. I you can did. change. Mr. Shapiro takes some of his time to Do come not down put here. Replacement and all I get is this. Is, is you telling me that that's a dude who can't skate? How dare you? Yeah. How dare you, sir? Did you not watch that beautiful artistic <laughs> movement by him right yeah. there? There it is. Why don't you check? You know what? Check your privilege at the door next time. You have time. now shamed me into submission. Okay. Well, good. Now you learn. That's the best way to do it. I'll leave here better. White. Exactly. White men. Disgusting.
All right, Ben, I've got to ask you about this because, you know, I loved what you said when talking about the Rangers, the New York Rangers, the, the hockey team, and obviously the NHL, and they've kind of gone a totally, you know. What are they doing? Di- different. Them and NASCAR, I don't know what's what going on. What are you doing? Right I, now. I, I, huh. But it, it's an overarching problem, in my opinion. I'm trying, and nobody can explain this to me. Nobody can logically explain it to me without getting emotional or being unbelievably biased. I don't care if it's Pride Night. I don't care if it's hashtag hetero is better bro night or that thing where you're in love with the stove for a year night. Why do we have nights at sporting events dedicated to who you sleep with? Like at what point did that ever become a thing that needs to happen at a sporting event? If we're going to a parade or something and you let me know, all right, that's one thing. But why do I have to to go to a night that is dedicated to who you decide to sleep with? Well, not just that, you have to wear the jersey. You yeah, must wear or the, the patch you're, or whatever. You're, right, you have to wear the flag. It's, 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 all, it's all Kramer from Seinfeld now. Or if you're not wearing the thousand ribbons, then yeah. we'll beat the living hell out of you at a parade. Here's your AIDS ribbon. Uh, no thanks. You don't want to wear an AIDS ribbon? Uh, no. Come back here and put this on! It really is. I, I, I do want to start with, what is the NHL doing? What are they doing? So we always hear about these leagues or entertainment companies, and they'll say, well, we're just, we're just trying to provide to the market. That's really what we're doing. We're trying to pander to our market. We're all capitalism, we're all, capitalism all the time here. It's about the money-making. The NHL's market is largely conservative white people. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to sure. be I'm just going to be perfectly like honest NASCAR. about how these markets break down. NASCAR is a more conservative white audience. Let's go, Brandon. NHL is a more conservative white audience. MLB is somewhere in the middle. The, the NBA is a disproportionately black and left-wing audience. Like so it makes sense. If, if the NBA is doing left-wing things, that, that wouldn't be particularly surprising. When the NHL is doing this sort of stuff, what you imagine is that the people who are in charge of actually making policy over there are completely disconnected yeah. from the people who are actually attending these games. Because seriously, how many people who attend New York Rangers games on a regular basis are like, yeah, man, I'm going there for, for Pride Night. Game me up. Come on. That's gay. What? That's, that's, that's yeah, what I'm Nobody's ever zero. So how many, I, I'll, I'll do you one better. How many people have ever decided to stop being prejudiced because they went and watched the Orioles beat the White Sox on Pride Night? It, They're like, you know what? I'm not prejudiced toward gay people anymore. Just because, wow, they hit that home run in the ninth inning, it unprejudiced me. He knocked the unprejudice out of that. Lentleman! I'm not having sex with a she-male! Also, the, 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 the way that these leagues approach people who, who do not, think like they want them to think is really gross. Yeah. Meaning it's, it's all tolerance and diversity. Unless you say, you know what? My religious belief suggests that I don't believe that this sort of activity is, is biblically approved. And so I don't wish to approve it. I'm not telling you you can't do it. I'm not telling you that you're a bad person. I'm just saying, I'm not gonna wear this jersey. This is not something that, that I'm willing to do. And that person is now bad. Unless you, th- this means you're a bigot. If you won't wear the thing, you're a bi- So I have a question. I, I noticed that none of you guys are wearing yarmulkes, which means you must hate Jews. I mean, that, by, by this logic, that yeah. is the... Like, I mean, you can say that you don't hate Jews and that I have no evidence that you, that you hate Jews, but clearly because you're not wearing what I yeah. wear, this means you're not wearing the symbol of my people, yeah. then this means that clearly you guys must not like the Jews. Yeah. Like yeah. this kind of logic doesn't apply anywhere else in American life. But when it comes to this type of politics, it's like if you don't put the he, her, or she, he in your, in your bio, this yeah. means that you hate these You're people. the enemy. The tolerant right, left. If you don't put the Ukraine flag in your profile, it means you want Russia to win. If yeah. you don't like... Or maybe, I just don't think like you do, and also when I go to a hockey game, I don't care. And it, they've taken away all the common spaces. And this is the thing that, that drives me absolutely nuts about what they've done to sports in general. I mean, sports was a place where we all used to be able to get together and we disagree on politics, but it's what you talked with your uncle about when you couldn't talk about anything else. Yeah, for you, sure. You get together at Thanksgiving, and what you talk about is the football game that's on, mm-hmm. instead of talking about how much you hate each other's politics. And now they've just infused it into every aspect of American life, and it's really gross and stupid and bad for the country. Yeah. Well, you're exactly right on the professional sports league's demographic, and you could see that in play the week after the Philadelphia Flyers player who refused to go out for Pride Night, his jersey sold out. Yep. And you'll never be able to convince me that the professional sports leagues don't understand who their demographic is because they're spending millions and millions of dollars on their marketing budget, which means they're actively trying to force their viewpoints on their demographic despite the fact that it's not the right capitalistic approach. I mean, is this what you're seeing in your research of professional Yeah, for sure. Sports? I mean, and by the way, I mean, I, I know people who have spoken with people who run NASCAR or been at events with people who run NASCAR. And people at NASCAR, they'll get up there and they'll say the wokest things imaginable. And people will say to them, like, what are you doing? Like, do, do you know your own audience? And the answer is, that's not their audience. Their audience are the people that they go to dinner with. And Sponsors. many of those executives are, are 
are people in New York. They're not people who are in Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the same thing is holding true for the, for the NHL. A lot of the executives of the teams are the same people who, are you, who you're seeing in NHL media. You're seeing all these NHL media figures who are out there ripping on players who refuse to, to abide by the rules of the LGBTQ plus minus divided by and happy face emoji mm-hmm. group. Mm-hmm. And, if, and if they refuse to do that, then they're, they're just going to get ripped up and down. This is a great way to blow out your own audience. And frankly, the NHL doesn't have enough of an audience to spare the conservatives from their audience. Yeah. I, I think it's a real mistake yeah. by that. I, I agree 100%. And when you think about it, I almost think about it kind of in two tracks, David. You, you are what you eat. You are eventually who you hang around. You become that. I think you're seeing that a little bit. That's what you're alluding to. But I wonder as well, and this is something we're seeing in football, is if we are getting to a point now when they're looking at that bottom line, it's all TV rights, who's watching, sponsorships and TVs, yeah. and not as much about people buying tickets. The minute that it becomes more valuable to them just straight on the TV rights and not having to worry about people showing up is a a, a going to be a dark day in sports, and I'm afraid eventually that we're going to get to it. But Ben, really appreciate you joining us, my friend. It's always really good to see you. We know uh, as big of a sports manager you are. It's nice to take some of your time away from, you know, stuff that really, really matters deep down, but uh, we really appreciate you. Well, I appreciate being here, and uh, you guys are doing an amazing job. All right, we're, we're trying. I'm just glad we got the fantasy football uh, situation adjudicated to some point and, and got that figured out, but now, uh, yeah, getting ready for a uh, little March Madness here as well. I'm, I'm sure you're going to fill out a bracket uh, like you did last year. Perfectly, and, and this year. That's yeah, exactly nail right. It 100%. Year. Mine too. I'm just going to go ask a blonde in the office who has no idea what's going on, and they typically <laughs> no win it. But make sure you subscribe, follow us on all social media. Remember, without you, there is no us. What's going on, and they typically <laughs> win it. But make sure you subscribe, follow us on all social media. Remember, without you, there is no us. <laughs>